is that irrespective of, of her, I like the way you put that genitalia, <laughs> irrespective of, of, of what her gender may be, the reality is, is that she's Bloody Mary all over again. That's why I refer to her deliberately as Hillary the Butcher Clinton, because she's a butcher. And let's understand that. How do you, what, because she's a woman, she's going to bomb people lovingly? She's going to kill people gently? Dead is dead. Let's be real. And, and you know, Albert Einstein, I believe it was, said, I believe this quote, and I'm paraphrasing it, but he indicated that when we people, everyday people, when we people constantly repeat the same thing over and over and over again and expect a different result, that's insanity. That is insane. That is absolute madness. It is time for we the people, black, white, brown, red, and yellow people in this country to wake the heck up and understand that we need a real change. Get off the plantation. Democrat, Republican, get off the plantation. This is urgent. InfoWars means just what it says. It's about information, not propaganda in the negative sense of the word, but it's about information waking up. So by supporting, and by the way, nobody asked me to say this, Darren and Joe had no idea I was going to say what I'm saying right now, all right? But by supporting InfoWars, you know what you're really doing? You're supporting yourself. You're supporting the people. You're supporting what Thomas Jefferson and Malcolm X talked about as the much-needed revolution in this country. That's all I have to say. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. A lot of you have been following my progress using Super Male Vitality. The last 19 weeks has been an incredible experience. I was feeling a little down and lethargic during the holidays, and none of the supplements that I was taking were doing any good. That's when my longtime friend from high school, Alex Jones, introduced me to Super Male Vitality. I was a little skeptical at first. Not only would I have the energy to work out and go to the gym, but it, it was actually the changes were happening to my body uh, a lot more rapidly. My whole mood, my libido, everything, had completely changed. The concentrated organic herbs, they stimulate your natural systems to produce the natural hormones that you need. I just really wanted to, to bulk up and hit it hard and I went in for about the first five weeks and was lifting heavy weight and just really hitting it hard and I gained 20 pounds of muscle immediately. Since that, I've decided I was gonna lose some weight and slim down. I just changed up my workout a little bit and 35 pounds came off. Folks, this is not a joke. This is not a gimmick, it's real. Super Male Vitality, available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and cannot be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. 
Secret 12 is a binary of neutromedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain Force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of Brain Force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. Still damaging your brain. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I'm in vaccines. And I've seen it, and I had my children taken care of over a long period of time, over a two or three year period of time, same exact amount, but you take this little beautiful baby and you pump, a, I mean, it looks just like it's meant for a horse, not for a child. And we've had so many instances, people that work for me just the other day, two years old, two and a half years old, a child, a beautiful child, went to have the vaccine, and came back and a week later got a tremendous fever, got very, very sick. This now is great. He's, he's doing a great job. I only say thank you, Donald. It's not, I'm in favor of vaccines. I gotta say thank over you a for longer this. period of time, yep. same amount, Excellent. but thank you. just in, in little and sections. And that's what I said Dr. earlier. Carter, I agree Carter. on I that. Think Excellent. You're going to have, Excellent. I think you're going to see a big impact on autism. Dr. Carter, yeah. you're gonna Nailed hear Ben Carson jump in. Nailed it. Good vaccine. job, he didn't backtrack. I like that. That's right. He's an okay doctor. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Trust me because I'm a doctor. Come on. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. I don't want to hear that. Actually. I can read the stuff myself, Dr. Ben Carson. Right. Read I the don't... Constitution, jerk, if you're going to run for president. <laughs> There's no autism associated with vaccinations. Whoa. But it is uh, true that documented we Documented proof by our paid off many scientists. Many of time. And paid off by Big Pharma. Now recognize that. And I think are cutting down on the number and the proximity in which those are done. And, and that's, I think all, that's, I'm saying, Jake, that's all I'm saying, Jake. That's all I'm saying. Well, Paul, now they're like saying autism is caused by... Hey, let's understand. ...one after the other. Yeah, let's understand we have such a thing called informed consent unless we're their slaves, one too. Of the greatest, huh? One of the mm -hmm. greatest medical discoveries of all time were, were the vaccines, particularly for smallpox. And if you want to read a story, it's called The Speckled Monster. It's an amazing story. It was all done voluntarily, but people came in by the droves. George Washington wouldn't let his wife visit until she got vaccinated. So I'm all for vaccines, but I'm also for freedom. I'm also a little concerned about how they're bunched up. My kids had all of their vaccines, and even if the science doesn't say bunching them up's a problem, I ought to have the right to spread my vaccines out a little bit at the very least. That's right. All right. Informed thank you. consent. Yeah, coming up, right. Jake. Yeah. I'm yeah, sorry, right. Governor Huckabee, please. That's the point. You know I what? I disagree with Rand Paul on vaccines, but he nailed it because as a president, what his responsibility is is not to decide, even if he is a doctor, his responsibility is not to decide what's the best for us and make us do it. Right. It's his responsibility to make sure he maintains our freedom to make that decision. It's my job as a, as a person to decide if I want to have a beer, if I decide if I want to go smoke pot, if I want to take a vaccination. It's up to me to decide what goes in my body. That's right. Not some president, not some dictator who thinks they can tell me what I can or can't do. That's right. It should be up to me. That's the freedom. That's what America's supposed to be about. And just like Carson admitted, he's like, yeah, maybe we should space them out a little bit more. But what about all the people who took them before that who are suffering the ill effects of having these things bang, 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 come through uh, right. in such a tight. And you're not going to hear all these people who are now singing the praises of vaccines, even Rand Paul and Huckabee. You're not going to hear them talking about when they talk about polio, polio, polio. You're not going to hear them talking about SV40, simian virus number 40, which was put into the vaccines, adulterating the vaccines, exactly causing, and they admitted this, causing cancer. They still continue to use it even after they knew they'd contaminated the vaccines with it.
And Jake, I'm, 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 I'm not going to I want to bring in Ms. Fiorina. I want to bring in Ms. Fiorina. It's been done over and over again, Christy, by people like you. I hope that I am the only person on this stage who can say this, but I know there are millions of Americans out there who will say the same thing. My husband, Frank, and I buried a child to drug addiction. Oh, my God. So. Yeah. We must marijuana. invest more in yeah. the okay, what kind of drugs? Overdose of marijuana or what? I don't know. I agree with states' rights. But we are misleading young people when we tell them that marijuana is just like having a beer. It's not. And the marijuana okay. that kids are let me Let me chime in here. How many people have buried a child or a family member or a parent because of the war on drugs? Because police, SWAT team, killed them. Mm -hmm. Innocent people. Even people who were smoking something recreationally. Is that, should that be a death sentence in America? And we need to understand that this war on drugs came from a United Nations agenda, just like Agenda 21. They created an agenda in 1961, complete with four schedules. Schedule 1 drugs were drugs that said they had no medical use whatsoever. Marijuana was put into that. And the fact that they have medical marijuana exemptions puts a lie to the fact that marijuana is still a Schedule One, but it goes worse than that, worse than that. We have two constitutional amendments out of 20 something that are about prohibition. We had one that made alcohol, prohibited alcohol, that didn't help anybody. We have people who are dying every year from alcohol overdoses. College students every fall will go to college, get away from their parents and overdose on alcohol. We could tell sob stories about that. It's a very sad situation. But alcohol prohibition did not stop it, it made it worse. Right. And it was done, though, with a constitutional amendment because we used to have people that gave a flying whatever about the Constitution. We don't have anybody like that anymore. They could care less what's in the Constitution. Where's their constitutional amendment? The constitutional amendment with, with, with 10 and with 9, uh, those amendments say that the government doesn't have any powers that weren't directly given to them. We just had these guys quote that about certain issues, but not about the war on drugs, not about the UN's war on drugs. This is a UN agenda that these conservatives are pushing on you. It has killed millions of people in America and across the world. Far more than that, look at the war in, in Mexico. That is a war on drugs. You want to talk about all the violence coming across? Let's talk about the roots in the war on drugs. That war on drugs, these people have pushed from the UN has created the violence in Mexico. Tens of thousands of people have died there. More people have died there than in Afghanistan. And you want to talk about these dangerous drug cartels coming across? They were created by our war on drugs. That's the truth of what's going on here. It's far worse than uh, what they're talking about. Rand Paul did a great job with that. It's uh. great to see him lay that, uh, that, uh, that down on uh, Jeb Bush and on Chris Christie. The privilege of Jeb Bush and the criminality of that prosecutor Chris Christie, that disgusting. Yeah, I mean, I the war on drugs has definitely yeah, he, destroyed he, a lot of families and, and their futures. He's almost worse than uh, Lindsey Graham. Why do you think we have such tangible success in the health realm? I, I feel like every day there's a new story. Every single day there's a new health success. There's a new victory against Monsanto or against some of the CMF stuff. Every single time I go on the news, we have a major victory in the health field. Because it's the truth. I mean, it's 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 undeniably the truth. We know for a fact the electromagnetic frequencies are damaging to the body. You know, we come out with solutions for that. We know for a fact. Anybody can go look at vaccines and flu shots if they do a, a, a small amount of research and not believe what they're hearing through mainstream media. We know it's a fact that they dam the amount that is are given to a child is extremely damaging to that child. We know that artificial colors and sweeteners are damaging. There's been enough studies. As time progresses, we know that the damaging effects of pesticides, Roundup, glyphosate, you know, all of these things, genetically modified organisms, people are becoming educated. We're, we know the damaging effects and we're making progress because people are actually avoiding those things. The big companies never wanted to change. The You know, Kraft, Nabisco, yeah. all those companies... Pepsi, who just bought Suja juice for, you know, put a, uh, bought a big stake in Suja juice or organic. All the big companies are realizing now because of consumer demand that they need to start going chemical free too because no one's going to buy their products anymore. It's, it's exactly what we wanted and what we've been asking for for years. It's true. We're completely dominating the market and voting with our dollar. You know, I bet we're going to look back in 50, even 10, 20, 30, 40 years and say, what were we thinking? You know, because we feel like we have a responsibility right now to push all this and change all this. And some people agree and some people say you're crazy. 
in like 20 to 30 years, maybe 50, we're going to look back and say, how could we have ever thought that this was safe? What did